Right, I have reunited with the big beast. The OM System 150-600 zoom lens and also with Tracy to produce the next series of Blue Planet. And of course, I have to uh, dress for the occasion and try to blend in with my environment. That's not blending in. Yes, I am. Looks like a sheep. With jeans. Yeah, with jeans, as long as there's no wolves. Uh, so I should be relatively safe. Unlike Tracy, though, she's uh, very pro. She's got the whole camel green going. And together with the other lens we're going to use, the Olympus 100 to 400 zoom lens. So between the two of us, we should be able to beat David Attenborough. So let me talk a little bit about the gear choice today. Well, first of all, we have the two OM1 Mark II and the two lenses already mentioned. But the reason I think these would be the perfect for what we're doing today or what we're trying to achieve today by photographing animals and in particular deer in Richmond Park is that there is a, a, a rules in here in general terms that we should keep ourselves 50 meters away from the deer, especially during rutting season, which is right now. Hopefully we can catch some action but if not, if the lighting's right, we should get some very majestic photographs and video clips for you guys to see. <laughs> cool. But I must admit, the 150 is pretty heavy. But hey, this is a 600 lens, don't forget. Full frame, 1200. With an extender, 2400. You won't get anything like this. Not at this price anyway. Oh, look at it, the light now falling. Oh, that beat looks good. Ooh. Yeah, this... Oh, the light's now coming through. If there's a deer... Now if that, if that deer comes over here... <laughs> can we ask it to come over here? And this will be the perfect angle. Look at the light behind us. Or maybe we go in front of him and shoot backward. Hmm. Tempted. Tempted. Oh. That's what I got. The Gandalf stuff. Yeah. That's cool, man. Remember in the film? In the tunnel, part three. Oh. You shall not pass! <laughs> That's cool. It's quite heavy, though. All right. Rest in peace. Let's go. <laughs> Hello, Bambi. Ah, uh, that's nice. Right. 
one of the main reasons that I choose the 150 to 600 lens for today's shoot is because of the flexibility the lens gives me. This is a massive range. 150 to 600, like I mentioned earlier, is, is very good. It's very flexible. It gives me a lot of options so I can be stationary in one spot while doing also the composition, vertical and horizontal, both in stills and video. Um, the only downside, of course, of this lens is the weight. So it is a heavy lens. Uh, but yeah, like I said, you know, if it's a tripod, a little bit monopod, you can alleviate that and you can get some really, really cool stuff, even slower shutter speed. But if you worry about weight, the other option would be what Traces uses now, the 100 to 400, which she uses for many safari thing. Thank you. Right here. So yeah, you can look at the size difference here, side by side, you know, definitely a lot smaller, a lot more compact. Yep, so for those who want a lighter system, this will be the case. But if you don't mind the weight and want maximum flexibility, yeah, the 150 to 600. I didn't know we can't pick chestnuts here. I was gonna pick some for my kids, but then uh, yeah, apparently deers eat them to get through the winter. So it's their food, not us. Remember. still one there okay right we just captured something epic an epic fight between two stacks oh my god that was amazing capture both stills and videos this is what we came here for you know this is the season for it and uh yeah it's i don't know i'm speechless this is the very first time i witnessed something like this in person you see this in video and blue planet blue planet so we got something right it's not too bad for a first timer trying to beat David Attenborough with no budget together with Tracy. I think together we got some absolute gorgeous footage of the deers and the stacks and the fight and everything. Yeah, you know, if you want to buy our DVDs and Blu-rays, you know, remember to click the link below. I'm pretty sure that Amazon's going to pick it up, you know, and uh, yeah, we might get a couple of millions for it. When we do, you know. <laughs> Anyway, just joking. But yeah, we had some good time with the lenses and the camera. They're very capable. And uh, 
Yeah, it's just, it just absolutely fascinating to watch species roaming around in the wild like this. And uh, everybody can get really close to it. But like I said, there were signs saying that we should keep away from that. I can now understand why, because the fight earlier was so dangerous, actually. So uh, I saw a couple of photographers actually capturing the same shots, but we were all quite far away. So a long zoom lens is like what we're carrying today definitely helps situations like this. So uh, yeah, anyway, this is cool cool experience hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and if you do give me this and also subscribe to the channel and see some more of course trace is going to come back to do another wildlife stuff hopefully but this time it won't be in richmond park and won't be the deers hopefully we'll catch something else perhaps maybe a naked monkey or something like that i'm not entirely sure i have got this big helicopters flying right above us now anyway so i'll leave you guys to it and uh, enjoy your day wherever you are and i'll see you all next time bye for now cheers with an aim to beat David Attenborough to beat David Attenborough to beat David Attenborough to produce the next series of Blue Planet with absolutely zero budget we're doing it without any budget it's one behind you oh yeah i would choose the 150 to 600 and Tracy wants to keep the uh, 100 to 400 because uh, yeah she's she's uh she, i don't know what she said <laughs> She says uh, she loves it, Slens. <laughs> Expect that. I want. Wait, this guy's coming right in. The whole. Okay, no, no, wrong. Um, what should I say? Oh, I think I got the shot of the day. Finally, I got a really cool shot of the stack in between the logs. Oh my god, that that's epic. That's epic. So yeah, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, it's certain as an experience for me. And thank you, Tracy, for guiding me through this expedition, if I can say that. And, uh, but yeah, it's, it's certainly a, an interesting place to photograph deer. I mean, I've never ever done this before. I know there are deer in Richmond Park, but this is the very first time I wake up early, came here and just do the thing. And uh, yes, yeah, enjoyable experience and I've certainly get some really cool shots and videos, obviously with Tracy's expert help and uh, so to make this happen. So you guys let me know if I have beaten David Attenborough's quality from Blue Planet. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've made it. Yeah, if you agree, please me, uh, give me a thumb and a like and a spread a word. Uh, hopefully next time I'll get a little bit more budget <laughs> to at least have some cooler shots. Cooler shots. Yeah, I mean, helicopters, something like that. <laughs> I think I'm dreaming. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and you know what to do now. Thumb if you like this video and sub if you want to stay in touch with our next journey and whatever we're going to create next. Maybe with these lenses or other lenses, you never know. Okay, see you all very soon. Bye for now. Cheers.